The question of the Earth's existence has stumped people since the beginning of time. People have been mystified by the creation of life on this Earth for almost as long. People have fought and died over different theories that each swore was the only possible explanation for this complex world. One of the leading arguments for the life is the theory of evolution. Research has been done again and again trying to understand the journey of life from water to land, but some species have turned the tables and have gone back to water. Whales and other mammalian marine life are believed to have evolved from water to land and then back to water. Perhaps learning more about their descent back into the water will unlock the keys explaining the evolution of life from water. Whales are thought to have evolved from ancient wolf-like creatures called chrydonts, who lived 37 to 60 million years ago. These animals looked for food near and in the water's edge. From there, they evolved into wolf-like creatures that spent a lot of time in the water. These are called Ambictheus. These creatures continued to spend time in the water, eventually evolving into a creature named Redoctus. These organisms were similar to modern whales, but still had small front and hind limbs, although they were adapted for swimming. Redoctus evolved into more long and streamlined creatures known as Balasaurus. The front limbs resembled fins, and its back limbs were all but invisible. The Many years after this, we begin to see the modern whales that we see today. There is plenty of evidence pointing to this evolution of mammals from land to water dwelling creatures. They are mammals, meaning they are warm-blooded, bear live young, which they nurse, and have hair. Their bone structures are similar to that of a wolf-like mammal. Their fins have adapted bones, homoglobus, to the bones in a wolf arm, which are comparable to human arms. They do have pelvic and leg bones, although they are characterized as vestigial organ because they are no longer in use. They also have many parallels to land animals with their ears. The setup of the whale's ear is more comparable to that of a dog or wolf than it is a fish. They have the remnants of muscles around their ears, now also vestigial organs, once used for moving their ears for directional hearing. Whales, are all, whales also move like a running mammal than a fish. They move their bodies up and down to move, not side to side like a fish. The final piece of evidence is found in the many similarities of the embryos. Whale embryos start out forming parallel to other terrestrial mammals, but then lose all their traits, such as hair, and they continue to develop. There is, however, plenty of opposition to the evolutionary pathway of the whale. One of the biggest arguments is lack of physical proof. But remember, there are the theories. Whale's evolution from land-dwelling creatures to the biggest animal in the sea is extraordinary. There are many interesting concepts found in the transformation from terrestrial beasts to aquatic animals. People may now see life originating from water to expanding on land.